Hello and welcome to Linda's Stampin' Escape. It is Tuesday, May 17th, 1922. And I am excited today to share the Lighthouse Point Bundle with you. So I've got some fun tips and hacks to share with you to make your creative process a little bit easier. I hope you all have had a wonderful day. And I'm thrilled that you are joining me tonight. Or daytime, wherever you are, or if you're re-watching. Hello, Beth, and hello, Barb. How are you ladies tonight? Ooh, the light here is not too good there. Can I move that? Hopefully that will help. There we go. That is the lighthouse point, and it comes with dyes. So I want to welcome everybody tonight, and thank you for joining me. Like I said, I'm really excited. For those of you who know me and have stamped with me, you know I am a lover of a lighthouses and have had pretty much every single lighthouse set that Stampin' Up! has ever come out with. So, needless to say, I wasn't about to pass this one up. Um, this one's a little different. I really love the dyes in here, and I don't know what it is, but my mind just keeps rolling with all these different ideas. So, I wanted to share the bundle with you tonight, and the card that I made um, for my blog today. So... Um, for those of you who catch my blog and follow it, I thank you and invite everybody over. I will post um, the links below in the comments after I am done. So, uh, we have Cheryl joining us from vacation. Oh, Cheryl, we hope you're having a good time. So we're, we're going to miss you in club on Thursday night, but we'll make sure we have your stuff for you, and let's get started. I'm excited to show you all of this. So this is the stamp set. It is a photopolymer stamp set, and of course that means, let's pop that that they're clear and you can see through this, which is really good because I'm going to show you something fun with this. Um, a little bit of playing around here I'm going to do. And then we have our dies, which I'll walk through these with you. So here's the card that I made. And I took this stamp from the He's All That bundle which I have been showcasing on my blog. So if you guys are looking for daily inspiration, head on over to my blog. Again, I will post the link in the comment section. And, or I can attach it below. If I can do that, I will. Um, I would say almost every day, I have a new blog post. So if you're looking for inspiration, this is a good place to go. I'll also put my link to my Pinterest page because that way you can go back for years and see some of the things that I have made that maybe you have that stamp set for. But yes, he's all that. That's where I stole that one from. And it says, Every Day With You is Another Adventure. And it is a compass, so I really wanted to put that on because to me, a lighthouse is a guiding light. It, it brings sailors safely into shore, but it has become 
um, meaningful to people in other ways. I just think they're a beautiful, inspirational. I don't. I don't want to call it a novelty because it's not that. It's just so grand. It's. I don't know. They're amazing, at least to me. <laughs> so. Um, this was all done with die cuts, except for the stamping here and then our greeting, which does come from the stamp set Lighthouse Point. So super simple card, but lots of texture on here. You can see that I popped up the card front and then I popped up the lighthouse and the greeting. So um, what my sister Eileen used to call um, a very clean card. You know, see some people like that um, shabby chic and all that. And and I have my moments for those two, but um, most definitely when it came to this one. And I think this bundle is great, not just for anyone who loves lighthouses, but um, a little more masculine as well. So either way, you can have fun with this one. So thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Yes, it is such a me card, but wait till you see what I have planned. So keep your eyes out for lighthouses because you're going to get a lot of them. <laughs> it's just, oh, oh, I'm going wild. I have pictures, ladies, that I've been collecting. And wait till I share the picture and the card so you can kind of see them together. And I will do that when I post them. So. As you can see, this says sheet one of two. So you actually get two sheets of dies. So I want to share with you what these all do so that you can get cooking as soon as you purchase this. So, of course, this is our lighthouse and this is the base. So this is what you're going to see when you cut out of there. So the nice base and then this one here and yes I do draw on mine so I know exactly where they go and I know if I'm missing anything. So there you have your detail which if you want you could go directly over the top. Now if you're looking for something more sturdy you could do this. However on this sheet right here they have a small one, which will cut out just the back. So let me put this over here and bring this in. And this will cut out just the back here. So you can get your little stripes in there. So while you are sitting there creating all this stuff and having a ball, here is the top. So you can put that on there, right? Okay. And again, um, I like to layer this one because I just, it gives me a little bit more sturdy top. Okay. But I am not losing those little three pieces. So here's one of your hacks. Save these little pieces that you get from like your lighthouse top and this little piece here, which let me show you what that's for. So this little piece right there, just has four little squares. I will show you goes right up here. I did not put this one on my card, but that's where it goes. That is like that little, I don't want to call it a ladder because it's not a ladder, but if you look up at a lighthouse, you have that little, little guide. This doesn't work when it's not stuck together well. So let me bring back my card so I can just tuck it on there for you and it won't be all moving around. So you can place it down there or you can place it way up there. But it's that little, that little, um, like a little fence or a little guide that goes around the top of the lighthouse. So 
there's probably room to move in a, on a lighthouse. I've been to quite a few. The biggest I've ever been to was St. Augustine. Oh my gosh, that, that's amazing. So, speaking of which, it's kind of fun because there are two that look almost exactly alike, and that was the Cape Hatteras and the um, St. Augustine. And they're both big and beautiful, but they have different colored tops. So if you're out there creating, you can do that Cape Hatteras, which top is black. I believe their stripes are also black. Um, or you can, I don't have my scissors. Here's one. Snip off the top. There's another hack. Okay. And make that very top red, which would be your St. Augustine. So they make lighthouses all looking different so that it is a landmark for the sailors. So, yep, you can do just about anything with these. It's so much fun. All right. But again, save them little, little pieces. I'm sorry, I'm trying to collect all my little pieces here. There we go. Because I did save them. So when you cut them out, save them. You can use them for confetti, but I'm going to show you something else fun you can do with this. And this little piece you see right here that kind of looks like a ladder, well, that's basically just for decoration. So if you wanted to add extra color, I could have tucked that under here. So I did not, so it's not going to fit good. But see how cute that is? So you can add this to your card. I just want to show you what all the pieces are for. Of course, this one here is your light. So you can add a beam of light going out on your cards. Chris said, railing for the lookout. Ding, 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 ding. Correct answer. That is what it is. It is a railing. Thank you, Chris. I don't always get to read every comment, but I try to peek up there every now and then to catch what it is. So there's our railing, and there's our light. So see how easy it is to build these, especially with these dies? It's just amazing. Okay, now, here's your greeting. And you'll see over here it says two dies because they're together and they layer nicely. So you don't have to use them both. But I like to layer, so I did. My hands are probably in the way there. Sorry about that. Okay. Now you have this guy right here. And he is just a plain little lighthouse. But... Of course, we got to have some coordination going on with our stamps, right? All right. So, we're going to put that there and pull out. Let's go. Do this. And I actually want the whole light up. back. All my pieces are leaving me. Okay, so we're going to put this over here, and those are stripes, and then we're going to put this guy right up here on the top. And I'm going to go in basic gray. So I'm going to flip this open. Uh-oh, you guys are getting quiet. Now, this is one of the main reasons I like the photopolymer, is I can see exactly where I'm going. So I'm just going to hit the top of my lighthouse. So where, you, where they have that nice lens, and I am going to grab, I need some paper. 
So, yeah, normally I don't grab my designer paper. And I'm going to line this up. And I'm going to stamp just the very top of that. Okay. Now we're going to go over here. And most of the time, I would stamp first and then die cut. But I didn't want to drag the um, cutting machine over here. So here we're going to place this right here and get some color on there, right? There we go. We're building our lighthouse. Now, I noticed a lot of lighthouses have little windows on them. So this girl here is going on the hunt for her take your pick tool. Because I take that wherever I go and then I never put it back here when I need it. I think I'm going to order me two more take your pick tools. And I'm going to have one in every spot that I sit. <laughs> that way I'll never lose it. So I'm just going to take this. And this does not work as good as my take your pick. Just trust me. Okay, so now see what we're going to do? We're going to use our little squares here to create windows in our lighthouse. How cool is that? So don't throw all that stuff away because you may want to use that. And let's just put this on a beautiful background. There you go. Can you see you're starting to build a card already? Not that this was my is my card for tomorrow because I haven't really figured out that far. I've just got a whole lot of pieces cut that I'm just having fun and playing with. All right, we can add some clouds because that's what you have right here. So we've gone over the light and this big one here is the inside for our, I like blue. Let's do a blue one. I have so much red. And this is our starry sky. So there's our blue. And then you can add your top here. So we got baby lighthouse and daddy lighthouse. You can just pretty much create whatever you want. Oh. And wiggly fingers, let me tell you, do not make for a good card. There we go. We'll get it. Can I lift that without flying all over? Okay. He's not going to, but you guys get the drift of where I'm going with all this. So, yes, save your little pieces there. I have the big black ones that I saved from this piece that you could put in there. So... Cheryl just said, wow, you can really do a lot with that set. And yes, I mean, it is really fun. And you can make these any color. There's a lot of white lighthouses. I am on a mission to figure out how I can add the texture to make a lighthouse like one of my favorites, the Cana Island Lighthouse. Um, that is up in Door County. So... It's just so simple. You can just have so much fun and just start making all sorts of cards. Put a greeting over there. Of course, you're not going to put red with those colors, but we can use our imaginations, right, ladies? So just, just have fun with it. And you know what? You can take that big piece out and just add a little bit of color there and do something like that so just use this piece anywhere I mean it's just adding texture to your card and all sorts of that so and I haven't even really played with the stamps yet so just a little bit right there but 
man, this is going to be a fun set to play with. And you guys are going to see a whole lot. And if you saw my blog today, I called it a, a mashup of the two sets, which were, of course, the um, He's All That and then our Lighthouse Point. So mashups, ladies, are lots of fun to play with. So take two of your favorite sets and start putting them together. So just think of what this lighthouse can go with. Um, can I give you a hint that Stampin' Up! probably wanted to put in everybody's heads? Okay, let me pull this out. Okay. Here we go. So, you have lighthouse and you have waves. Now, I call that a great mashup. So this is going to be one of my first cards that I'm going to start playing with because I did get my Waves of Inspiration bundle. So I think those two are going to be pretty awesome together. And that will probably be a card you will see in the next eh, 24 hours or less or maybe, you know, I don't know. We'll have to see how it turns out and what I play with because this, this is crazy with all sorts of cool stuff with it. So, I want to thank you for joining me. You didn't get to see me make a card tonight other than just playing with all of the wonderful things you can do with this set and the dies. Although I did share this little beauty with you. Again, this comes with all of these dies. So you get, there's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven dies to go building lighthouses with. Who knew you could build a lighthouse? So we got that. And I also have, we all love sparklies, right? We have some sparkly washi tape. For you and um, I will be let's plan on next week Tuesday for my live I will do a like a mini class or putting together a a nice card with this bundle so today you got to see me show you each piece so that you know what's in there and then let's meet back here on Tuesday and I will show you how to pull it together. And maybe that's where I'll do my mashup with the, um, the inspiration. Okay, I gotta find that again. Sorry. That name just blew out of my head. I'm looking. <laughs> I shouldn't have closed the book. Oh, it is Tuesday. Well, ladies, you know where it is in the book, then why I cannot find it right now. Come on. There it is. There we go. So the Waves of Inspiration and the Lighthouse Point. Let's make a date. Meet me back here next week, Tuesday. And this will be my mashup. So I'll actually create this card with you next week, Tuesday. All right, so with that said, I have a giveaway for everybody who hung out with me last week, and let's see who is going to win this pretty washi tape. Set this right over here. I get everybody's name in. We will pull up our wheel of names and bring that in. And hopefully it doesn't land on the empty space because I don't know how I got in that in there. But there we go. Oh, let's put it that way so you can see that pretty sparkle. Yep, there we go. So 
drum roll ladies and good luck to everybody three two one good luck well miss nicole congratulations you have the white sparkly which is going to go really nice with the silver sparkly you have i still have that here for you so congratulations to nicole and don't forget if you are looking for daily inspiration to go to my blog just look under linda's stampin escape and you will find my blog and or my Pinterest page, but I will post links for you. And if you are re-watching this on YouTube, then the links are already in the um, comment section for you. So thanks everyone for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this um, little presentation on some tips and hacks for using your Lighthouse Point. And I'll meet you back here next week, and we will do a mashup. So, have a wonderful evening or wonderful day, depending on where you're watching from. And I will see you in a week. Thank you so very much. Bye-bye.